I'm Karen Randall from Randall's Farm and Greenhouse. And even if you're a non-gardener and can't tell a tulip from a primrose, you know ivy. Ivy grows outdoors and indoors. Its sure endurance makes people take it for granted and consider it hopelessly ordinary. But ivy is really like the little black dress of plants, the background of green that ties all sorts of plants together. True ivy has a lot to offer, different from other plants that share its name, like grape ivy, Swedish ivy, and poison ivy. True ivies are classified by leaf character. 90% are derived from English ivy. Named for their leaf shapes, fan-shaped have wide plain leaves, variegated ivy have two colors, as subtle as silver bells, a hint of silver, or gold baby, gold on green. Pixie Dixie is a miniature leaf, curly locks, distinctively curly, and spear point, sharply pointed. My favorite, named officially heart-shaped, becomes widely available around Valentine's Day. Ivies adapt to a variety of conditions. They like medium to bright light, water them only when the soil surface is dry, and feed sparingly in the spring. Ivies easy to propagate. You can try rooting a freshly cut stem in water, or the most successful method is air layering. Pin a branch from an established ivy plant to a, pot, a potting mix. There's a node or root at the base of each leaf. Keep the soil moist, and in eight to 10 weeks, you'll have a new plant ready to be separated. Ivy makes a great topiary, with a little patience, you can easily create your own. Purchase a topiary form or fashion one from a wire coat hanger. Secure the form in a suitable pot of ivy and wrap the ivy tendrils around the form. Secure the ivy and as it grows, continue to train and prune it into the desired shape. Ivies enhance home and office decor, it calms the senses and purifies the air. So don't take ivy for granted. All that's ordinary about it is its name, happy planting. I'm Karen Randall from Randall's Farm and Greenhouse.